three LinkedIn hacks to stand out on LinkedIn. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I love LinkedIn. I'm not a LinkedIn expert, but I really enjoy being on LinkedIn and I have had some growth. So I hope this strategy will help you to also grow on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is one of the best places to be. Why? Because although it's a smaller pool of people on social media than say perhaps something like Facebook or Instagram, which gets about 2 billion every single month. LinkedIn is a smaller pool of people who are CEOs, who are decision makers, who are founders, and they have money, which is really a great thing when you're a small business owner, because you have people who are going to make a decision, want to buy from you, and they're connecting with you. So it really means that you have people into your inbox who are senior people within organizations who can make a decision about you, hire you, and afford to hire you. So it's goodbye hobby businesses and hello to people who actually want to pay you. Let's go have a look. So we're looking at three of the ways that you can really improve your LinkedIn profile. So the first one to do is, um, you know, often with paid for things, you think, is it worth it? And one of the great things about the premium version of LinkedIn is that, um, you can add in some extra details onto your profile. And so you can see here how it's, um, I've got this um, little link here. So if I were to click on this link, it goes to my um, my quiz and um, I'll share the quiz below in, in the comments. Um, but as you can see, it immediately takes people. So people go through, they do my quiz, and uh, let's just quickly do some answers so you see the benefit of it. And then of course I capture their email details. So um, putting something like that on your profile really means that you can start capturing email addresses from your audience. Um, and that's why it's really worth doing this on LinkedIn. Um, so, and, and you would do that by just add custom button, as you can see there. The second thing to think about when being on LinkedIn is see how you've got these featured posts. So if you were looking at somebody else's profile, I'm going to go to somebody else's profile in a moment, um, you can see their featured posts. So um, this is this goes to um, a link, which is um, again to another freebie to my easy launch plan. And so again, I'm cap capturing email addresses, um, f you know, from doing that. So that's, that works as a really good way to um, capture email addresses while building an audience. So people can go and they'll check out your platform and they'll want to find out about you and then they're going to they're gonna click on links. And, you know, these days, yes, they'll go and find a website. Yes, they'll be interested in that. But this is a really good way to capture email addresses as well. Okay, and the third and probably the most important is about creating posts and commenting. So what I would be doing is I would create posts on a consistent basis. So I create a post every single morning. Um, it tends to be about 6 a.m. Uh, maybe it's a little earlier that I will kind of have a brainstorm of an idea write a post and I'll post it about 6.15 a.m. And I will do it literally, sometimes I'm trying to scrabble to finish it before my son wakes up. And then I'll I'll comment on that post as I'm getting him ready for school. Um, at the same time, I would go through and comment on other people's posts. Um, so it might be, here's a cute cake. It might be... Um, you know, just something really simple. Okay. And um, you can you can be posting comments. Now, as you can see, this is about a child's birthday cake. 
okay? And that's really important because it doesn't just have to be about like worky stuff. You can you can comment on what you want to. So you literally would go through and comment on posts. Now, you may want to be more targeted with your posts. And you might decide, and this is not the case, that you might decide that you want to, um, you know, you might think, I don't like this comment. I don't like this kind of content. So I don't feel like this about Debbie. So just to be clear on that, I'm not going to do this. But you can then do the three dots and say, unfollow or hide posts like this. I'm not going to do that, okay? But that's an option for you if you want to curate your content so that it's stronger content, it's more in line with what you want to see. You can ask, also start typing in areas of content that you do want to see. So let's say, for example, you want to talk to people in the legal industry because if we think about it right now, um, that actually a a fairly sort of steady um, industry is the legal industry. So you might decide, right, let's go for legal industry. So you click on posts and then you're going to find people who are in the legal industry. And so you can then go through and say, um, let's have a look for, um, let's, let's comment on Amy's post. And so, as you can see, you go through, you find a post um, and you would say something um, that is, you know, insightful and thoughtful about the post. Okay, so we've written something, it doesn't have to be, you know, and we post and we would go through and comment on the posts. Now, you might find someone that you think, I really want to connect with this person. Um love Amy. She's great. Um, and she's building a fantastic course for, um, for lawyers. Um, and you know, so you would click connect with her and you might comment on a few of her posts and you do the same thing again and again with different people. And the reason that this matters is that we'll go through to more posts, find someone else. Um, the reason that doing this is important is that that's how you can extend your reach but also you can train the algorithm if your feed is filled with boring content this is the best way to curate it so you are training the LinkedIn algorithm to say this is the kind of content I want to see these are the posts I want to see and so you're going to be shown more of that kind of content so if your posts on there or the content on there is still old content from your former career and you've pivoted to something else, you've set up a business or whatever it may be, then you can train the algorithm to see the kind of content that you want to see. If you start commenting on posts that you don't like with, you know, you get people who will comment and they'll say, it's not Facebook. Well, they're training the algorithm to see more of the same content. So you want to ignore the stuff you don't like and focus on the stuff you do like. Okay, so I hope they've been useful. My three tips to help you with um, creating content that you love. Um, If you would like to connect on LinkedIn, let's go back to my profile. Um, So um, please, I'll I'll share that below so you can see my profile. And I'd love to connect with you and hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching and would love you to subscribe. Take care. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I share tons of strategies to help you get eyeballs onto your business. Because when you have eyeballs on your business, it means that you're more likely to sell your digital products again and again. And I am all about helping you make money while you sleep. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'd love you to click on the button below. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.